Yellow stems. Maybe actually it's the yellow and green. Well, the gray, the gray on the steps makes sense. That's not going to be as dirty looking and it's going to stay cool. Right. But why not a yellow, yellow, yellow gray and then the yellow clothes? That would have a little pop of color in there. Yellow Instead of smoke frame, do the gray steps? Lemon yellow frame. Mm -hmm. Gray steps and then the blue clothes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the gray steps. So, because this is going to be, I mean, in any of it's not any of those.
and then the, uh, the 360 loop. So you guys are saying 360 is the dark blue and the light blue would be the yes. Yes. Okay.
night four, and this one's coming in at 11 o'clock at night. He's going in the next night. But if it goes here? No, it goes in. It will go into that one. And then it's going to come in at 10 o'clock at night till the next morning. Well, right. But what I'm saying is see, these two are on the same day on the second. Right. You're going you're gonna to have that. I don't know why that one was. was but this one is open, and then here's another open. He said, no, he said he'd have that, and there's one right there. He said he will have. This one's open, and this one's open. It might have cut some of the stuff off, too, because it was well, on the account. There should be any day. Yep, there's, 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 there should be no days open. He had two, and they were up here. Okay. So we just missed the name, but he had two open shifts, and that's it. Okay. And that was last week. Just so you get some some different hours on that. We're not paying any more money. No. We're not getting any extra shifts. It all works out in the end. No, I just have a comment about, you know, I, I guess I misunderstood, you know, the nature of, you know, our agreement with them. Okay? Um, I thought that there was going to be some sort of contract. You know, we, we prepared an application, got and put that together and signed it. Okay? No representative of the OCSL signed that document. Right? They, they have signed and you don't have, when the show got that one, you just don't have to sign. That should have been sent today to, to Vanessa. They passed that to her, where they approved the, uh, the all food work. But, but see, I did see that document, and all it says, and the reason why I don't feel comfortable with it is because this document clearly says for office use only, okay? And it's not a document that was signed by them and us. This is not a contract. I can't even tell who signed it because I they, they, initials. I talked to them and said they do not issue a contract because of con if you, they, that is their contract, their application is by we made the request for them for services, they've agreed to the services. They said if they get a contract, you could be held accountable, just like we had in security, where they said you're going to do this. If you don't like them tomorrow morning, you can call them tomorrow and they're canceled. It's basically, it's open for us to cancel whatever we feel like. They, pro they provide services, it's stated out in the application, we build what, what their costs are and what's expected. Let's see, the thing is that we don't have anything that's binding, okay? So they, they, did, they did not just show up at all, okay? Or they can say, you know, you know you're know, you monitoring this and we appreciate that, okay? But the thing is that we don't have any that's binding. I mean, why do we go through the effort of getting contracts for all these other services? Or our HOA. I, I would just expect them to, you know, hey, you know what? The terms that are laid out in this, this little office memo that indicate the hourly rate, who's going to show up, you know, where are you perform, and da 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 da. Why don't they sign it and we sign it? That way, either there's an offer, they're offering to provide services for this rate of pay, and we accept it. And then we have something that's binding, so there's no misunderstanding. There may be legal issues for them. They may not, they may not be able to. That they don't do it for, for anybody, but because you could call in today as, as Jeff and say, I'm having a party at my house every Saturday night and I want to hire deputies. You fill out the application, they say it gives your criteria, they show up, they send you a deputy. And they say they do it for every other HOA, the exact same thing, and they just don't do a contract. It's just like we don't do a contract with Dan Bracewell. We say, go fix this, he goes and he provides a service, we provide a deputy. That's, it's, it's a verbal contract, more or less. Yeah, see, see, I don't even have a, I, I do have a problem with that, too, because you know, the way I look at it is like, you know, we're an HOA here, we're the board of directors to protect, you know, all the residents' money, all the assessments, okay? And, and I think that, you know, we're kind of shirking our duties if we don't have a contract with well, yeah, so the plans. I think that the police agency couldn't, I would, I would think, and I don't know, but I would think the uh, law enforcement agency couldn't good. enter into a contract. They don't, they do not enter into a contract. Because that would expose them to liability. If something were to happen, hey, we have a contract with you guys. And I don't know. I, I mean, they, I, they, they don't they do not do a contract because the application, our request for them to supply deputies. For sure. Their agreement to it is a deputy shows up and it's been approved by the Super of All Duty Services. It says this, this meets their criteria for work. And as long as they're doing what we're asking them to do, which is within their policy, they're going to continue to show up. I said tomorrow morning, if you don't like them, you can cancel them. There's no yeah. penalty. You know, sure. Because if they needed to respond to an emergency, they needed extra manpower. If they had to pull people off to do something else, I don't think they want to be right. under no, contract. They have to do the contract. You know, if, if, if an emergency situation arises, the understanding is that that's the priority. And then we'll be turning 
Yeah. 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 I'm saying that may be why their legal department. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm asking. It, it, it's, it's already in there on their page. Basically, you look at it, said, this is what we do, and here's here's what we provide, and here's under what circumstances. Right. We would we would be foolish to expect someone being raped over uh, and one of the other. I'm just saying, in the communities, and if he's the closest deputy, he better go. And the good thing about it is that when they leave us, they go off our clock and they That's go on. Fine. It's fine, and I understand that. But if that if that's spelled out in the contract, they sign it, we sign it, then we have an understanding. There's no misunderstanding. The services they're going to provide, and you know, we agree to the, the rate of pay and everything else. You know, I know what you're saying, and I don't feel comfortable with it. They just say that's their app, the application in the agreement between the two. But it's not. Because it's not signed by both parties. It's, not, not it's really only signed by us. So, you know, I would recommend that. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it is signed. I think this part. is just the yeah. second part. Yeah, Dom's made the request, and they, somebody signed off approving it, it is entered into an agreement to provide services to us. This is the second part to the application that Dom yes. submitted. Dom's name is on the original application that was submitted to him. And this is how I see another You can say that all day long, but unless you show no, me. I understand. I'm a skeptical being kind. You understand right. that, you know? <laughs> and, well, I was they don't understand the way they do business with one HOA. Well, you know what? You can say that all day too, but you know what? Just because other HOAs don't, don't hold, hold their feet to the fire doesn't mean we should, okay? My recommendation would be that we sign this thing and that Linda sign this document that's signed by some representative of the OCSO. Just that you're acknowledging, and, and you have two parties, two, you know, them and us, <coughs> acknowledging that this is. You know, these are basically the services there. You, you've already got that. We're, we're here. No. Yes, we do, because Don Hansen signed it. He signed and the application. Well, no one signed that's it. Signed that's, this. Jeff, I'm just saying, that's the last sheet of the application right there where it's approved by Orange County. It's, it's four sheets. It's a four-page document. Well, I can't. I, I can't. I, why is it all together? Why, why didn't they provide the whole thing? They, they added that because on the page Michelle had sent you guys, it wasn't signed off. She said it before it got signed off. What he did is added that's the fourth page to go with your other three. In other words, you'd like to see the whole document. Oh, yeah, I mean, if we need one document far away. Because you know what's going to happen at some point in time? Someone's going to be scratching their head. Hey, does Leo have a copy? Hey, does Don have a copy? Maybe Jeff's got a copy. And we'll all be looking at each other and, and we'll never find it. And then we'll be calling OCSO. Hey, where's the copy? Because see what I remember seeing. I have a Yeah, I just didn't have this part. Right? Well, if they can send us the whole thing continuous, that's what Jeff's looking that's for. What that's what I'm, that's all I'm, I'm saying. We got one of them. This person just then? I'm sorry. This person just then? Yeah. 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 I see what you're talking about. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll get it from here and I'll get it from the entire world. And then I'll get it from the entire world. And the only other thing is like, Again, I mean, I know this is maybe nitpicking and stuff. I would expect to see an invoice. You know? <coughs> here's your hours. Here's the rate. Thirty-five dollars an hour. We'll do the math. Here's what you owe us. And then, and then Linda signs off on the invoice. Okay, okay. you you get that. And I think it's going by Leland's what what you guys do for invoicing. It, it's sent in, and you guys are approving it right now because they're sent every day when they work. They fill out a daily log and a pay sheet. It says I was here X to Y. I've been seeing sheets. this. Okay. okay. So it's been really sent in. So far, what I've got, there's only been two invoices that have been sent in. Yes. And oh. I, I approved those. Because oh, no, I, knew they were here. Here. I knew they were here because I've been down here. Me and Don's been down here every night. Okay, so you are receiving an invoice. Yeah. I just didn't see one. I just yeah. saw an email with hours on it. Yeah. I, I, I was like, hey, don't send me your invoice, just send me your daily activity so we know what's going on. Let Leland and Linda get the invoices that you guys are keeping track of. A financial one. Yes. What, 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 what Linda should be doing is matching up the daily stuff with that invoice. Make sure it's, it's in sync. You know, within an hour of each other, we're good.
like the 104 state law protection because it's on private property, they cannot take it. Mm -hmm. So suppose they park right out the front yeah, yeah. Park out the front? Right in front of the building. Right and the fire right? lane? Yes, yeah. yes, that's a fire lane. The parking out there, if they bring their camper or the boat that's been parked under it, that's the vehicle from out of state, they can't do anything. The HOA can't do they can't.
cost is 3,005 points. Okay, so. Um, We're just waiting on the right of the proposal. Yes, yeah, and as soon as I get that, I'll just pass it along and then you guys, okay. you know, at the next, or the next official meeting, you can make a decision on that. Um, so, slide me the motion. I don't know if there's a, any more discussion or a second out or what. I'm ready to make proposals when you send them, and I like the cross court better too yeah. because they have the warning name on a lot of things, so they want to crack some and all that. For the other companies, they said we do not want to crack. So, the, to me, they, they were the better choice. Right. Yeah. Are you choosing a color today? <laughs> well, <we're, we're, laughs> if we call up on the other side.
They said you can go with a two inch mesh or a one and three quarters inch mesh. Uh, it's either 5,700 or 6,500. And again, we're talking you know, two to, two to 3,000 more. So I really like this estimate from some of the guys and stuff. And, you know, again, I can provide you with all the estimates, but it, they seem reasonable. The fact that they work closely with Frostport and they came highly recommended, I think they, they could be a good choice. You know? so, and I like that they said in the morning.
defense and stuff. And, and you know, this guy, you know, he got, he got me days and everything else. And he's got good coverage. So, you know, I'm making a recommendation that we go with White House. You know, it's 11300 And he said, you know what, this place is not going to be a day job. He said, I'm going to be out here about a week. i got to replace 26 fixtures and pop the walls and stuff and make sure all the circuits are tight. So, in, in your proposed chap, I know you do this to talk about putting some lights on palm trees. Is that included? No, no, this is just a, a direct replacement. Exactly. You know, I think that's something that this neighborhood should consider going down the road. I mean, it, you could dramatically, you know, increase the, the, the visual aesthetic impact of our entrances. You, you, you offline some of those palms, those tall palms, south, at the south entrance, and then over there at the north, you know, <coughs> it look awesome. But, you know, we didn't budget for it, you know, it doesn't mean we can't. I mean, if we start finding some money for these rental properties, I might start considering something like that. Are there any lights in the pond? Oh, the ponds. The ponds have been a sore subject, I'm telling you. They, they, Dan didn't want to touch that stuff. I mean, he said he'd be placed a contactor. I call Florida water features, okay, because they're named right out of the box at the, at the north entrance. I had to come out three times. Finally, last night, the light was on. And I said, listen, you submitted your invoice, but it's not getting paid yet. So you, you guys fix that. And so, I just find out I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the Avalon Lakes. Remember the logos in Avalon Lakes? And they just redid their lights in the pond over there. And they put a brand new fountain and everything. I can, it looks amazing. So I can find out and get that information for you guys, too. Well, I mean, I think right now, um, the south entrance, that light looks pretty nice. You know, that fountain, it's a little bit yeah. It wasn't on at 7 o'clock, but I think they changed the time of the day. You know, I think that I went to 7 30. And when I came home last night, I did see the other one on. So I think that they finally resolved the problem, and uh, I think we can probably pay that invoice. But you know. the fact that Lindy's are they changing the circuit breakers also? Or are they using the existing old ones from ten years ago? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't answer that. He said basically, you know, we're going to swap things out, and if anything needs to be replaced, I'm going to do it. So now, did this go in the ground, or are they going to be on the wall? No, they're not. Gonna be, they're going to be in a similar position as the ones that we have right now. They're just going to be looking. Higher up and stuff, and you know, like, mm -hmm. like, like at, the, at the south entrance here, we're going to have one on each corner, like, like we currently have. There's going to be other gates, and they're durable, durable houses and stuff. So, well, they are they are concerned because, of course, we hope we'll take care of this, but the firing said you like that wiring on those lines, and they, they do get in there and they, they just shore them out. So, I'm just, well, are I'm you just saying thinking, any lights or any lights? I don't, I don't know because are the LEDs are they totally encased? The LED do they replace the whole line or <coughs> just the walls? Oh no, it's gonna be one. It's the housing. This is okay. the whole unit. Right. You know, so, so right now we've got the square units like they're like about this size, and they use 500 watt housing wall, and they get really hot. Right. And if any of the shrubs get close to them, they burn. You know, I've, I've actually seen smoking leaves and stuff. Yeah. Right. The thing is, the LEDs burn cooler, okay? They project really nice, crisp light, but they're cool and, uh, you know, they're, basically, they're round about the, this size. They're 76 watt, and, you know, they, and they're they going to shine at a 40 degree angle or something. You know, they come from all different angles, but those are the ones he recommended in his proposal and stuff, so, with the, the white LED color, color temperature, so. You know, I'm not a designer and stuff, but, you know, from what I understand, and that's, he actually gave me one wall, you know, and said, hey, just pop this in, see what you see, the light and stuff. I tried to, it looked good. I said, listen, I think that's going to be great for our neighborhood and stuff. So it's going to be slightly different than the yellowish tint that we have now. It's going to be a little more clear and white, but, you know, it's going to be a lot better than they have over at Corn you know. They have those type of, like, the long ones, and I think that Blade Runner is actually still on those, you know, so, you know. Anyway. I don't I, I like to make a proposal that we go to the White House unless the, you know someone feels more strongly about any of the others. You know, I think it's I think it's a better value based on warranty and the quality of the workmanship that I've observed from this company. Yeah, so that's that's the one
was in favor. I am just reading all kinds of things tonight. I can't say anything about it. All right. All in favor? Any opposed? And what I'll do is I'll call this, this guy's name is Justin. And I'll have him uh, get me a copy, like a, a clean copy of the proposal so that you can sign it. And then we can get you know, his work scheduled. Four out there, two 
feel so broken. I mean, they're sad shape. And the necessary <coughs> quotes on those, but they're going to be expensive. Right. Because you need to get the commercial uh, type that's going to last with the basis. So it's going to be about uh, $2,000 probably to get about eight hundred dollars. No, these are not the scans. The outward goes to scan, so that people can use them. So, I thought the tape was And I, and you know, just the cleaning in general of the place, because the place, I'm telling you, it's sad. <laughs> but yeah, these are just um, things that we we need to do, and the replacement of patio fans. I think. Uh, a lot of them are rusty, they, they're looking really nasty. I think you can get outdoor fans for like $20 if you go buy them. At Lowe's, yeah. 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 And then you can get, uh, you know, maybe we can stand how much it'll cost to install, of course, before. They don't get them here. That's what we They built their own sale, like a winner. Yeah. Yeah. But that, these are just yeah, things that we have been down here evaluated that they need to be done here. Yeah. Um, the door out yeah. here, we need to yeah. uh, yeah. replace on it because, and that's not even on the list, so that's going to be good. Yeah, it has to be done because the kids are coming out there. We're going to handle, the door stays ajar, and the other people are coming I asked him to replace the. Uh, Thank you. 
Yeah, it's, so it's a six figures job. It is. But you know what? When you care about the community, where you live, you, you just do it because, you know. There's things you want to see home. happening yeah. and you want to see it done. And the only way to do it is volunteers because you can't afford to pay somebody to do this stuff. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. Don, um, I put these on there. Do you want to update on any of this stuff? I, I need uh, number 10. This is uh, fuel equipment for the tank and pump stand. Uh, I need pre approval from you guys. I've got one bid so far, and I'm really having a hard time because there's a lot of vendors that don't want to touch this thing. I do have one bid, it's for about 45. Replace those two. And uh, they are in desperate need of being replaced. What is this? the pump stand and the pump? And I've got a picture on my, on my phone. They are rusted so bad that the pump stand is about ready to collapse. And that means that the pump and the engine are going to sway down, put pressure on those huge pipes coming in, and they could lose or crack. And they're in desperate need of repair. The, the bid I've got is 4500 for the, the two stands and the two pumps. Also, they were saying that the pumps might be deteriorating inside and possibly putting a little bit of metal into the pool. Um, so, I'd like to get a pre-approval for that. I want to get two more bids in, so you have three bids, and then I'll be able to take the lowest bid. Now, we did this before with the tank that we pre-approved to get some bids into the tank to get that tank fixed, and this is the same type of deal. If you guys would go ahead and pre-approve that, and I'll work on getting the bids, and then I'll let you guys know. Well, something we have to get done, though, right? This is something that really needs to be done. I've seen the picture now. Yeah, that's 
there was a reason for that on the 2014 for 30 Now that could be used for the pump repair stuff or the kitty. And it's already in 2014. Yeah, and it's already in 2014. So that's hard to Do it. 
Uh, the other three are one was going off and looking at it, but it, it is possible. What this will do is if there's a stenter or a busted tube or something like that, instead of coming to us and saying, you know, $300 to replace the stenter, and it was really just a clogged tube, it's their dime. Okay, even though we're paying a little bit more for it, but we're not nickel and diamonds. So that's one aspect of it, and I'm trying to see what we come up with there. Because this thing has been driving us nuts. Every time we turn around, there's a, a bust of this, a bust of that, and we had a $1,500 proposal for something that was their responsibility to replace, and this is what we're winding up with. And there was another $300 repair that was their problem, and they tried to make it ours, and so on and so forth. So this is driving me nuts. In front of a sure. pool. Yeah, pool sure. works, and uh, well, I, I got the, the, the pool legs that replaced my plastic. Mm -hmm. I got them to do that for free instead of paying the $300. So if you watch these vendors um, and, and keep them in line, but I'm trying to give the responsibility to them. So next time something gets clogged, okay. they'll fix it rather than replace the whole stenter and cost us $300 for something that will cost them right. 10 bucks. But we're considering all of it.